Hey, this is Henry DeJoe, known as Henry Live, the investigative reporter here out of the United States. Together here with Team Live, Edmund Torrey, and reporting live, Mayor de Blasio's project, together with other community leaders, taunting President Donald J. Trump outside of the President's uh, residency in Fifth Avenue here in Midtown Manhattan, outside of Trump Tower. Here you can see they painted in large yellow letters about a block long, Black Lives Matter to taunt him. This just creates more tension right now and as much tension we have in this country. Uh, you know, uh, keeping an open ear uh, to all of, all of our opinions is gonna be what's gonna be uh, important. How about, how about you? My last message would be that, uh, again, I'm dealing with a lot of uh, issues here with officials. Um, a complete, again, I'm gonna reiterate again, the city councilmen, the assemblymen, the councilwomen, all the, the elected officials that are hearing and seeing what's happening, they, history is going to judge them for what they're doing. Not only the vote that they did to defund the police, but also to continue this madness because the city is right now, uh, it, it, financially, it's like, I don't know how it's going to last. It could go bankrupt in the near future. And they, are, they, they keep complaining that they need money to go on. It's a huge fight between the governor, Governor Como, and de Blasio. Where are we going to go? This is just going to continue. And this message is for those elected officials and people that vote. Remember, I don't just blame the elected officials. You know, let's see what happens and then let's just pray to God that we continue forward and let's talk about this. Okay, great, great, great. Well, we're going we're gonna, to uh, wrap it up right now. And hopefully, okay. uh, you know, if things, if things progress uh, or if, if uh, something happens uh, that's very news, newsworthy, we'd love for you to, to break the news and uh, have another, another discussion uh, as well as uh, in the state. Uh, what should they be doing to uh, relieve the tensions or at least improve the situation before it gets any worse? Thank you for that question. Uh, I've dealt with a lot of local leaders here, even though I am a conservative and um, I still try to work with the Democrats. My worry and my message for the Democratic leaders in particular, what they did a little while ago, two weeks ago, when they voted on defunding NYPD by $1.5 I spoke to one of the city councils, which I'm not going to name at this point, at the moment, and he's a friend of mine for many years, and I've actually questioned him and said the night before the vote, why are you doing this? You're, you're voting to defund the police. They already stripped the anti-crime unit. The city is right now in a crisis where you have gun violence, you have shootings that have gone up in record numbers, between two to 400% compared to last year in 2019. And he didn't give me an answer, and this is what the leaders are doing. They voted for this. They still want to continue doing more to, to defund them. The morale is horrible. Over 900 officers have filed for, uh, for retirement. There is no NYPD Academy class. What do you think is going to happen to the city? It's going to look like back in the 70s before Giuliani took over and when we had the city looking like Fort Apache, like the movie. And it was really true. It was like that. Me llamo Henry Rullón y quería darles saber que en este lo que está pasando con los hispanos conservadores, este es el momento que ustedes tienen que luchar y votar de verdad. Este es el momento que hicieron. Ustedes los hispanos votaron por muchos demócratas. Ustedes no saben quién son ustedes. Este no es el momento para esto. El país está pasando por unos fuertes. Eh,